Hi, and welcome to our 98th test and measurement video. Today's topic is the Icoscope WS200 Wireless Oscilloscope Probe. It's perfect if you're climbing a power pole or signal tracing on the factory floor, and it is much less expensive than even a handheld oscilloscope. It works in conjunction with a desktop or laptop computer smartphone or tablet, Windows or Mac. With a 200 megahertz sampling rate, 30 megahertz bandwidth, and 8 volt peak-to-peak -peak input range, it's suitable for quick diagnostics in many applications. Since it's battery powered, you don't need to worry about hazardous fault current when measuring floating voltages referenced to ground. To demonstrate this instrument, I've downloaded Icoscope software available from the manufacturer's website into this MacBook Pro. If you charge the wireless probe's internal battery from the laptop with a USB adapter, then you're all set to go. The wireless probe can be used while it is charging or anytime as long as there is a charge in the battery. For a signal source, I am using this Tektronix MDO3000 internal arbitrary function generator. On the back end of the probe are two LEDs. One of them indicates the status of the battery that is inside the probe body. When it is orange, the battery is charging, and when it turns green, the battery is fully charged. When the white LED is blinking, the wireless probe is activated, and when the LED is steady, the probe has established a wireless connection to the computer. A BNC cable is plugged into the AFG out port on the back panel to access any of the AFG's library of 13 available signals. Of course, a printed circuit board, such as a demo board provided by many manufacturers, a 9-volt battery, or utility power with a step-down transformer to reduce the voltage to a safe level will also work. In this situation, I like the 24-volt transformer used in residential thermostat control circuits. Since it is difficult to probe a BNC connector, I am using a BNC breakout cable, cable available from Amazon. The wireless probe is activated when you press the needle probe down on a hard surface until it clicks. I found to keep the instrument activated when capturing a signal, you have to maintain pressure. This requires a solid conductive surface. A coin held in the breakout cable alligator clip is very helpful. For this demonstration, we'll look at some waveforms from the bench type oscilloscope internal AFG. Here is the sine wave. And this is the square wave. This is the pulse. This is the ramp. This is DC. This is noise. Sine x over x. Gaussian. Lorentz, exponential rise, exponential decay, Haversine, and cardiac. Now I've gone back to sine. Notice that the waveforms are not displayed in the oscilloscope. That is because the BNC cable is not plugged into an analog channel input. 
However, multipurpose knob A controls the selection of signals, which are picked up by the probe and conveyed wirelessly to the computer. The wireless probe has some specialized capabilities. For example, when you click on cursor, a pair of vertical cursors appears, intersecting the x-axis. The time of each cursor is measured and displayed in the A and B boxes on the right. The time interval between the cursors is displayed as delta T. If you click on a cursor a second time, the cursors become horizontal, intersecting the y-axis. Amplitude in volts is now measured at each cursor and displayed in the A and B boxes at the right. The voltage, as measured between the cursors, is displayed as delta V. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.